We're just leaving Margaret, no wait, we're just leaving Bass Pro. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. We've been out of commission for at least a month. Um, basically because we had a uh, fender bender in the truck and the truck's been in the shop, it been in the body shop and we just got it back today. So, so we had the bumper, someone like plowed into the back of us and we had the uh, bumper and all this, all this been replaced. All right, brand new bumper and uh, brand new uh, side panel right here. So, so, but we're good to go now, ready to go do some fishing. Light's not gonna cooperate with me too much. A little warm in here, but I'm gonna show you what we got. We spent 30 bucks at Bass Pro. 30 bucks. That's how much I spent. <laughs> I'll get into that here in a second. So, if you guys uh, recall, uh, one of the last videos I did uh, about a little over a month ago, uh, we had a really bad day fishing. It was slow. Uh, it was windy and all that kind of stuff. And I did not have things for windy fishing, okay? And I was out there just out there doing a bunch of nothing. I think I maybe caught one on that trip, if that. So we're cured that, I hope. We bought a couple of crankbaits, okay? A couple of crankbaits for, for deeper water. And um, obviously... Um, when the water, I mean, later in the day when you want to go a little deeper. So we got a couple of crankbaits. Uh, we also have a couple of spinner baits. Okay. Uh, both of these are from War Eagle. Uh, these are um, probably, I don't know, um, what, $8 a piece spinner baits. So, and, and again, these are for uh, deeper water. Uh, because we're primarily going to be fishing, uh, Lake of the Pines with all this stuff, okay? Um, maybe I'll get to, uh, Caddo Lake here sometime soon. Um, uh, with Caddo Lake, basically I'm fishing with a frog. So, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the Caddo Lake here sometime. But I'm basically preparing for Lake of the Pines here. Alright, I got more Cinco's. Uh, well, first of all, this is a, um, I did have a uh, worm for Texas rig from Zoom. Uh, this is the uh, Watermelon Red, and I also have somewhere in here, or maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't get the uh, Red Shad. Usually I get the Red Shad. Maybe I just didn't. Um, but we got our Cinco's uh, from uh, Gary Yokomoto. Uh, I like these. These are the ones that I use. I went ahead and bought two of them. I'm I'm thinking I'm out, uh, but I, it's been it's been such a long time. These these are five inch worms, and uh, these are um, yeah yeah. Not really a secret, but they're like black with red flake, kind of not completely black if you look at it in the sun. Uh, got some different hook situations for those. Um, for those uh, Cinco's. Uh, so I got uh, some of those and then um, I got, also got a weedless. Don't really need weedless on Lake of the Pines, but um, seems like that's all they have. And then I bought a uh, bought a kill switch. Need a kill switch for the boat. So I bought that and a Dr. Pepper. Ooh, I bought a Dr. Pepper, like a regular Dr. Pepper. So all that came out total to 80 bucks and uh with the uh birthday discount that i had from a, a subscriber for this channel and uh bonehead truckers and uh, on my cruise channel uh trucker gal she sent me a 50 dollars gift certificate for my birthday not gift certificate i'm old school um gift card <laughs> gift card um and the uh so that was 50 dollars off so i spent 30 bucks so I appreciate that there, uh, because I guarantee you, because now that we got the truck back, um, <laughs> gas is a lot. Listen, I've been for the last almost a month been driving a Toyota RAV4, okay? And I got into this thing earlier today and I was like, oh, I'm back home. Thank God I'm back in this truck. So um, 
I'm ready to get back out on the water. I plan on getting back out on Sunday, Sunday morning. That's that's the plan right now. If not, we'll do it Monday or Tuesday. But I'm gonna get out there and do some morning time fishing, right? Get you know get up about probably about four o'clock, you know, and then get out there. Hopefully, just before the sun gets you know comes up, get to my spot, do some shallow water fishing, and then as it gets warmer. I'll fish uh, a little deeper water until it gets too hot and I'm ready to go on back to the house. So, um, you guys know I really like the, the evening fishing. And I think I'll eventually do that. Um, but, man, it, they're talking about 100 degree weather here. 100 degrees in East Texas. That's that's hot. So, yeah, that's, that's extreme heat. That Usually when I go out on the water, it's usually about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Um, and that's just, uh, that's right there where it's 100 degrees. And uh, I'm not really, not really feeling that. I, I don't mind 90, maybe 95, but you talking about it getting in triple digits? Yeah, that's, that's a bit much for me. So, I'm so happy to have this thing back. Finally, I've been, it's been a month, over a month since I've been uh, fishing. Uh, we got a cruise done. We got another cruise coming up in July. And then uh, we also have, uh, we're, we're planning on maybe taking a trip to uh, Colorado. We haven't planned it yet, but uh, we've been talking about it pretty heavy. Uh, so we probably do that. So not sure how much summertime fishing, which is my favorite time to fish, by the way, is the summertime because uh, I can't stand to be cold when I'm fishing. Uh, so, but it's just, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on. But anyways, thanks for watching East Texas Fins. I'm sorry I've been MIA because I was like, oh man, I'm going to just put out tons and tons of content. And then we had the accident in the truck. But now we're back. Now we're back. And so probably Sunday. Tomorrow, which is Saturday, I plan on, you know, kind of cleaning out the boat and getting, my, getting all this organized and rigging everything up, charging the batteries. That way I could go get out there Sunday morning and just be ready to fish, ready to fish. And I may even try a frog on, uh, on, on, on Lake of the Pines. We'll see. We'll see how it is. Um usually i'll do a frog on on caddo because there that's a frog heaven there that's that's the natural that's a natural uh food source for the bass but uh so i'm not sure how many frogs are out there on on lake of the pines so we may put a frog on and see what we could do but anyway thanks for watching uh east texas fins from bozier city louisiana this is the closest bass pro we have and pre again appreciate that trucker gal saving me 50 bucks i'll put that 50 bucks that i would have spent in the gas tank <laughs> all right 73